Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I will admit, the first beginning of this video is going to be a little chit-chatty because it is the Zape Spooky Collection Haul. Now, if you're not familiar with Zape, Zape is a handmade bath, body, and wax company from Wichita, Kansas, and Ashley is the owner of Zape. Now, when you're looking at the title and you're like, Drew, that's Zeep, not Zape. It's what I thought in the beginning. But it's actually the Dutch word for bath is Zape, but it is spelled Z E E P. So that is where her name comes from, Zape Bath. But she specializes in not only incredible handmade bath and body products, but she also makes amazing wax products. Now, what she does differently than other vendors is she does collections. So this is the spooky collection. So we have all these fall, harvesty, Halloween fragrances. Now, she offers amazing shapes. Like, amazing, amazing shapes. But she also offers wax scoops, which I love because they're easy to store and they're highly scented, but we'll talk about that again. Anyway, I ordered some bath products. I ordered some wax products. Now, I love Ashley. This is not a sponsored video. I've been friends with Ashley for years since she started her company, and they've gone through some changes. She really has it really streamlined now, and I love her company. And I don't order from her a ton because, again, I went out of the vendor wax world. She doesn't like to consider herself a vendor because... She's a business. She has a beautiful storefront that her and her man created themselves, and it's it's just a beautiful company. It's not just a vendor. And one thing about her, too, is the attention to detail that goes into everything. So when you open the box, there's all these little squiggly worms, and then you get a little card that says, oh, hey, gorgeous. Experience happiness through scent. Drew, thank you. You are amazing for supporting small business. We love to see you enjoying your products, so don't forget to tag us at hashtag ZapeBath with a picture of you and your new goodies. Love the Zape team. So, with every order, they always include a sample. So, I'm going to start with the sample. And these are two little pumpkins in the scent Oktoberfest. Now, I do have my iPad here with all the scent notes because there's a lot of fragrances here. And Oktoberfest says, A fest of all things fall. Fresh baked zucchini bread, sweet cinnamon pumpkin souffle, and a hint of tart fresh blueberries. So we have zucchini bread, pumpkin, blueberries. Catherine King, I know you're watching this video. You and me with our zucchini love. This smells like a blueberry zucchini bread. I'm not picking much on that sweet cinnamon pumpkin note. Pull the little guy out of here. Oh, it looks like it's actually... Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's two little pumpkins. Yeah, I, I'm not getting much sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I'm definitely just getting like a warm zucchini bread. And I do like Ashley's zucchini bread a lot. Mixed with that fresh picked blueberry. Ooh. It smells really, really good. And one thing with Zape is a little bit of her wax goes a long way, and it really lasts. When I was clearing out some of my old stuff, I found a couple scoops from Christmas of last year. I know it's not Christmas. This was a couple months ago. I scooped some out, put it in my warmer. Oh my god, you guys, it threw so well. Why I love scoopable wax? It lasts. It's super soft, which means it can hold a really high load of fragrance, and you can just scoop it. The only thing is if you're using the freezer method for your dishes, which means once the wax has completely liquefied after the day and you're ready to change it out, you can't pop it in the freezer and pop it out. It just is too soft for that. It doesn't get hard enough, the formula. So you do have to like use the cotton ball or hot dump method with scoops. It's the only downside, but... I just use the cotton ball method. It doesn't really affect me that much. But I do like the ease of popping my dishes in the freezer before I go to bed. And then in the morning, popping them out. And there must be a fire or something because there's lots of fire trucks. That's better. But before I get into the wax, I do want to talk about her bath and body products, which is actually how I fell in love with Zape years ago. So she offers three different formulas of body care. Well, technically four, but 
three shower products. The first, which is hands down my favorite, are her whipped soaps. Now her whipped soaps are essentially that. They are a whipped soap. So whenever you open them, they look just like a really rich body souffle or a body lotion, but it's actually just whipped soap infused with coconut oil. It's a really, really hydrating, um, moisturizing body product. I take a two finger scoop, put it on my loofah, and it lathers just like the best body wash you've ever used. And it lathers, it scents up your whole bathroom. When you rinse it off, you feel really clean, you don't feel sticky. I really like that formula. She then offers her body butter sugar scrubs, which are not a cleanser, they're strictly a scrub, but the body butter aspect of the sugar scrub means when you scrub for a while and rinse it off, it is going to leave like that film of hydration, which it's great, especially for the cooler months. You really want that layer of hydration. And then she has a hybrid of the two, which is called a sugar whip. So it's a little bit of scrub, a little bit of whip soap, put them together, and you have a hydrating body scrub. I personally do not like that formula at all. It just doesn't work for me. I either want a scrub or I want a a body wash, like a whip soap. I don't want either of those together, so it's just my personal pick. And then she offers these body meringues. Now, if you've been with Zape for a while, you're like, these are not her body meringues. These are her body meringues. This was her old bottle of body meringue, and I'll be honest, I do not care for it. I did not like the way the bottle performed and I never really bought them. So for her to put them in a tub like this, I could kiss you, Ashley, all the way from Pittsburgh. This makes the formula so much easier to use and it is just like that, a very whipped body lotion. And I love that and I love that it's just easy, it's convenient, you can just moisturize, hydrate without having to try to squeeze the little bit left out of the tube. Tube lotions for me just do not work because if you're if you want a really great formula, you're not going to be able to get every last drop out of the tube unless you cut it and finagle it and I just personally don't have time for it. Now, which scents did I get? I got two different scents. I got one more fall, Halloween, and one more pumpkin. So the pumpkin scent I got is in Jack-O-Lantern, and the notes on Jack-O-Lantern read, sweet pumpkin, spiced vanilla marshmallow, and hints of smoky bonfire, which I just put all over my hands, and it does, it smells like a smoky pumpkin. Like you carved that pumpkin, you lit a candle in it like a jack-o'-lantern and it just you smell the inside of that jack-o'-lantern it's smoky it's fiery but you get that rich decadent pumpkin no spice there's not spice it's pumpkin and smoky so i feel like even if you put this in the shower for one your guy's going to be like what's that crazy little orange tub in the shower be like honey it's whip soap you need to try it he tries it once and he uses half the container it's a guy thing, right? I don't do that. But And then he falls in love with it and makes her get it by the caseload. And then it's limited edition. And then she's sold out. And then he gets all upset. And he's like, why didn't you get me more of that? You always bring him all these boxes. Yeah. That's not me. Because I don't have anybody to talk to here. I prefer it that way. And the whip soaps are amazing. So that was the jack-o'-lantern. And then the other set I picked up, I was obsessed mainly with the colors but it is Poison Apple. Now, Poison Apple, and now I'm not gonna be able to open this because I'm super, super uh, moisturized from the lotion, but Poison Apple reads, For you, my sweet, crisp Macintosh apple, sweet fall pumpkin, and a dash of sweet baked Halloween treats will have you needing to take a bite out of this poisoned apple. So, again, it's a really rich apple. I can open the meringue fine. So, again, filled to the top. It is, it's like, it smells to me like a creamy caramel apple a little bit, but not heavy on the caramel. It's like if you made a caramel apple into a body care scent. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And again, packed to the brim. It smells so good. And I 
love, love, love the color and love these little cute little jars. Now, the body meringues retail for $10.50 and the whip soaps retail for $14, which I think is a great price for a handmade item. Now, the last body care items I got, two of the same and one other one, I got her bath bombs. I have been scarred from bath bombs from working at Lush for so long that I just didn't use bath bombs or had any desire, but working really long days now, I need a bath every once in a while or every night, but sometimes I just really want to close the door, not think about anything, and just take a bath. And I figure the best time, I'm adding these items to my cart, I might as well add some bath bombs. So I picked up two Mac Apple bath bombs. One is in this adorable little pumpkin, and one is in this cute spooky ghost and they are big boys you guys they are big bath bombs i mean in my hand like it's a big size bath bomb i'm definitely going to get some great use out of these and again there's a little hole here so i can smell it smells just like a juicy crisp mac apple and then the last one i picked up is a little headstone and it has a little skull and crossbones and it is in the set Hocus Pocus, and Hocus Pocus reads, Take a walk through the graveyard to the Sanderson sisters' house and smell the scents of the smoky fire under the cauldron, crunchy dried leaves, and the sweet temptation of roasted marshmallows and brown sugar. I can't smell this out of the package, and I'm not opening it until I use it, but I cannot wait. I think this is going to be great, like end of September, beginning of October, spooky, cold night. And I think because it's a black bath bomb, it's going to make the bath water look super cool. And I'm so excited to take a bath with these guys. Now, I know you guys are like, okay, get to the wax, get to the wax, get to the wax. Let's get to the wax. Ten scoops. I tried to, I tried to control myself, I was going to order them all, but then I'm like, Drew, you have so much fallen Halloween wax already, and coming in the mail, you need to take a little chill pill. So, I picked up 10 scoops from the Fall and Halloween collection, the Spooky collection, and I said it a little bit earlier, I love Ashley's scoops, they last forever, they have like, I hate to say, a waxy consistency, but it's kind of like, like margarine whenever you scoop it out of the container and you pop it in your warmers. It gives an amazing throw, a little bit goes a long way. The instructions say take one to two teaspoons, or is it tablespoons? Hold on, that one has a description so it doesn't have the instructions. Use one to two heaping scoops per melt, so heaping scoops. So it all depends on how much you like, but less is more with scoopable wax. I know I have a lot of questions about what is that, how do you use it, etc. So I'm here to explain it to you guys. Now let me grab my iPad because I have 10 scoops and 10 cents to talk about. I start with my favorite scoop, why not? Franken cake. Oh my god. For one, I mean, this is a Halloween color if I've ever seen one. And you will see a little bit of like a remnant on the top from the seals. They do all come safety sealed. So especially in the summer months, it is getting cooler now. So mine all came in perfect condition. But if they do not, there is a seal on them. So it will stay protected. But Franken cake, banana nut bread pumpkin streusel and caramel drizzle some of them actually have the description on the side not all of them do but banana nut bread obsessed pumpkin streusel delish caramel drizzle this smells like a really ooey gooey version of a banana nut bread you get you definitely get banana bread like a fresh banana bread the pumpkin streusel and the caramel drizzle just make this like an ooey, gooey, warm, baked good smell. I This in the kitchen, this in a bedroom before bed, it's, it's soft, it's cozy, mm, it smells amazing. Fall naps. Now this is one, every year I always want to try it and I never order it. I don't know why. So this year I definitely needed to pick it up and fall naps says flannel sheets, autumn leaves, and fall breeze. So totally different vibe from Franken Cake. This smells like a fall version of laundry. Like, you can definitely smell the laundry in here. 
But then, and I just warmed it up with my finger, that's why it looks a little smudged now. Yeah, it just smells like really fresh laundry, but warm and cozy mixed into it. This one's definitely hard to describe because you do smell it all. You smell the cozy of the fall sheets. You smell the laundry. Ooh, that's nice. It's definitely sophisticated and rather hard to describe, but wow, that's yummy. If you are a fresh person and you want a fall version of laundry, there's your girl. Now this one, apple cinnamon donuts. Now this one's pretty cool. It's like all these different like gradient layers. Unless it's just all the oil in here, which I could see that being the case as well. This smells like, like a caramel apple donut. I definitely get some Cider Lane vibes. I definitely get Cider Lane vibes, but with that cinnamon sugar donut. Which makes sense, apple cinnamon donuts. If you like Cider Lane and you miss it, because it didn't come back this year. Like a caramely, appley fresh baked cakey donut. Oh, that is yummy. That is a definite caramel donut scent. Then we have fall eats. So basically this is my life. Fall naps and fall eats. It's what I do. Pumpkin waffles, espresso, whipped cream, and crushed pecans. So we have pumpkin pecan waffles and coffee essentially. Zape does coffee so well. I just finished a scoop of her gingerbread latte from Christmas, like, on Sunday. I popped it in my warmers in the morning. And, again, I have four warmers, a little scoop in each. It smelled like I had three candles burning. It was so strong. So, this... Ugh. If you love coffee blends, Fall Eats is your jam. It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. Like that ooey-gooey, rich, yeasty, decadent brown sugar heavy donut waffle goodness scent with espresso. I find that I actually like the scent of espresso more than I like the scent of um, coffee. Then we have candy corn cake. Now I ordered this, I don't know why, because it's just like, it's okay. It smells like a very plain vanilla cake. I know some people just love this. It's okay to me. I, I'm just not a big fan of a candy corn scent. I love to eat candy corn. I know that's a big debate in the fall. But, I mean, it does. It smells like if you take, like, a vanilla cake, vanilla frosting, and put, like, candy corns on the top. So if you like, like, a, a really easy scent, I feel like this is a good scent to melt if you have company coming over, because I don't think anybody would really be offended by it. Then we have Kruger's Orchard. Now, this this scent, is it still available in scoops or did it finally sell out in scoops? It sold out in scoops. Fall Naps and Kruger's Orchard sold out in scoops. So this is Kruger's Orchard. Apple Cider Donuts, Macintosh Apple, and Vanilla Bean. This sold out in scoops, this sold out in shapes, but do not let that worry you. She might restock it, I don't know, but it, it was very popular, so... I feel like she would. <sighs> Mac and a Mac and a Macintosh apple. You definitely pick up right off the bat. It's like crisp apple. Vanilla bean just makes it more creamy. And then, oh yeah, the apple cider donut. Yep, like this is a fall festival. Like you're in a fall festival and you're eating an apple cider donut. So I like that there's. Apple cider donut, which isn't heavy on the apple, mixed with apple. Like, it just quintessential fall. Butter brew. Now, butter brew, I believe, if I'm mistaken, a Hogwarts delicacy. Creamy butterscotch and vanilla marshmallows simmered over a smoky cauldron. Don't roast me at the steak. I've never seen Harry Potter and don't have any desire to, but butterscotch. Hmm. I'm not picking up on much butterscotch in here. Oh, when, when I when I when I um warmed up the top, I smell it. I guess because I'm used to like a butterscotch scent, not having the really creaminess of a butterscotch. This is really authentic butterscotch, like a butterscotch candy that every grandma kept at the bottom of her purse. 
and you told her you wanted candy and she gave you butterscotch and you're like, I don't want butterscotch, that's boring. That's what grandma's there for. Yeah, I mean, it smells like a butterscotch. I'm not, this and candy corn cake, I really are not picking up much of. And one thing about scoops is you definitely need to melt them. You definitely need to get your spoon in there and get it in your warmer because they change a lot when you warm from any company. Cider Lane. I talk about it. I think every video from now on is going to have a little bit of Cider Lane in it. And this is no exception. This is definitely not as strong as the other people's um, Cider Lane, the other vendors. But I also didn't order Cider Lane in any scoops. So, again, scoops typically get stronger as you melt them. But, oh, it smells just like that authentic authentic candy caramel apple. Cider Lane is like a cross between a candy apple and a caramel apple. It's to die for. And then the last, no, not the last scoop, Fireside Pumpkin. Now, Fireside Pumpkin also doesn't have a description on it, so this says... Sweet roasted pumpkins with hints of fall spices, spices drizzled with gooey fire toasted marshmallow. Ooh. I definitely pick up on, is this, it said smoky, right? Sweet roasted pumpkin. Fall spices. I definitely pick up on clove and nutmeg more. Like, that's the first thing I pick up. Is like a clove nutmeg heavy spice. Ooh, that's good. Sweet roasted pumpkin, sure. I mean, pumpkin has a smell that really just makes everything more creamy. Oh, yeah, this is like, it's definitely spicy. So if you're not a fan of, like, spicy scents, I don't think you're going to like this. It's like a spicy nutmeg, nutmeg and clove forward fragrance. That's going to be nice to melt in the kitchen on a cozy day. Wow, is that yummy. And then the last scoop I... Boom, this one, is PSL with wet pumpkin spice latte. I mean, can it get any better? Again, see, now this is different coffee than her Fall Eats that had espresso. This has coffee. It's not as great, even though a latte is made with espresso. It's definitely a lot more toned down coffee. So if you want a coffee scent, but you're not ready for super strong coffee, PSL with whip because you definitely smell more whipped cream, which makes it more creamy. The pumpkin spice, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, clove. Mm, but it's good. It's really, really good. Again, I love coffee scents. Coffee scents to me, you can melt all year long. Like some of these, I wouldn't melt after the fall, but I mean, any coffee scent, like I said, I was mel I was melting the gingerbread latte the other day because it was just so good. <sighs> that was my Zay Paul. Super excited. So many new scoops. And since she's been working on this for a while, I feel like they're ready to go. So I think I'm going to change out my warmers. And what am I going to pop? I think apple cinnamon donuts is going in first. I think I'm really feeling it's like 65 degrees this morning. I think apple cinnamon donuts is going in the warmers right now. I'm going to take a shower too and poison apples calling my name. So let me know if you've tried anything from Zape. I will link my referral code down below. Again, this is not sponsored. Everybody can make a code. It just gets you $5 off and it gives me $5 in credit. If you want to use it, great. If not, no big deal. But definitely sign up for a Zape account. You do get bubbles, which are like points. But definitely a great company to support. And Ashley, if you're watching this, you're such a great person. I love our talks. And yeah, again, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.